Hello brothers and sisters. Today is Tuesday in the fourth week of Lent 2024. My name is Reverend Father Anthony Mario Ozele of the Catholic Diocese of Wari in Delta State, Nigeria. Thank you for joining me. Our liturgical readings today are from the prophecy of Ezekiel chapter 47 from verse 1 to verse 9 and verse 12 and from John's Gospel, chapter 5, from verse 1 to verse 16. I'm going to be reflecting today on the theme, the deeper you go spiritually, the better it gets. The book of the prophet Ezekiel is replete with visions. And at the center of the vision in this passage of chapter 47 is that resource that we cannot do without water water is the secret of a full spiritual experience and is often the symbol of the word of God and of the Holy Spirit the word of God and the Spirit of God the usually go together. The Word activates the Spirit. The Word only works where the Spirit of God is active. So if you go back to Genesis chapter 1 from verse 2 to verse 3, before God spoke His Word, the Spirit was hovering. And because the Spirit was already present, when God spoke, it came to be. So the Word of God and the Spirit, they, they go together. They go together. Now, the evangelist John writes in chapter 7, from verse 37 to verse 39, On the last day, the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and exclaimed, let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from within him. He said this in reference to the spirit that those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no spirit yet because Jesus had not yet been glorified. So Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit will flow from within believers as rivers, as living waters, as rivers of life that brings the life-giving torch of God to those around them. It is this, this remarkable, the re remarkable illustration of this God-given rivers of living water that the prophet Ezekiel presents to us in chapter 47. This river that the prophet saw in his vision was coming from God, representing the Holy Spirit and everything that the Holy Spirit offers, representing grace, love, redemption, healing, etc. I have no doubt that if there was a stream of water anywhere within human reach that would do all these things for whoever stepped into it, every one of us would make arrangements to go get into that stream. But this stream is already available to us. Now, reflect with me on some key elements of this vision of the prophet Ezekiel. Verse 1 says, Then he brought me back to the entrance of the temple. The entrance of the temple would be the door of the temple. Now, John chapter 10, verse 7, tells us that Jesus is the door. So the story begins at the door. The story begins with Jesus, the author 
and the finisher of our faith. Without going through the door, you cannot get to the Father. And the water flows from underneath the sanctuary, underneath the altar, which is the cross of Jesus, where blood and water flowed forth from his wounded side. The second element in this vision is that the further you go into the water, the deeper it gets. You see, dear friends, when you have a deep relationship with God, He will show you things that are so deep, things that are so amazing in terms of visions and prophecies and inspirations and give you words of wisdom. This passage talks about four stages of the floor of the river. And as you take a step further, you are deepening your relationship with Jesus Christ. You are growing every time to be more and more a reflection of his glory. So let's look at the four stages. Stage one, ankle deep waters. Ankle deep water. The water is at the level of the ankle. This represents Christians who are new to the faith, baby Christians as it were, who are not yet ready to swim. These are believers who are lacking spiritual understanding. As newborn babies, the Bible says to desire the sincere milk of the word of God so that you may grow by it. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. So, how do we study the Word of God? Are you studying the Word of God? Are you growing by the Word of God? Or do you just read the Word of God like you read a novel, like you read a newspaper? Take note, my dear friends, that it is perfectly normal to have a four-year-old in kindergarten class. But when you are a teenager and you are still in kindergarten, that becomes really weird. People look at you in a weird manner. They look at you like you're strange. And you will find yourself not even fitting into the environment because even the seat, the chair, will not be able to take you. It is no longer for you. It's meant for kids at that particular, at a particular age. To grow, to get deeper, to get to the next level of the water, you need to study the Word of God. God's first measurement, ankle deep. To get beyond that, you need a steady diet of the Word of God. For those who are constantly bemoaning the fact that they do not understand the Bible, they do not understand the Word of God, they can't seem to wrap their heads around it, it's majorly because they are still in very shallow waters. They are in ankle deep waters. The, the force of the water against the feet of such people is very minimal. So you can easily get in and get out. And that is why such people can easily be carried away by all manners, all forms of doctrinal errors as St. Paul will say in Ephesians chapter 4. That is ankle deep water. The second stage is the knee deep water. Now this is the believer who is at the stage where he or she understands the power of prayer of the Holy Spirit, studies the word of God, 
and does not hesitate in taking time to be before God in meditation, in fasting, in prayer. Now, walking in knee-deep water requires a bit more effort than walking in ankle-deep waters, but you can still easily be knocked off your feet if you are at that knee level. So, the, this category of believers can also be easily knocked off. Both those in the ankle deep end and the knee deep end of the water, they are believers who are not fully committed and easily compromise with the world. The third stage is the waist deep level. At this point, the water is at the midsection. Now, I want you to take note of two things here. The loins is the reproductive uh, zone of the human anatomy. And reproduction means increase. In other words, the believers at this particular level are already reproducing souls for Christ. They are already uh, bearing fruits for Christ. They are witnessing to others. The believers at this stage understand doctrine. They understand the assurance of God's grace. They understand the need to serve in the body of Christ and to serve the body of Christ. The second thing to note about the loins is that it is the place of strength. Remember the Bible says of the prophet Elijah that he girded up his loins and ran ahead of King Ahab to the, all the way to the entrance of Jezreel. So the believer at this level of water appreciates God's strength. This believer is growing in the Lord is becoming stronger in faith and in commitment. But that is not the best level. There's still another level, the fourth level, and that is over the top. The water has risen over the top and is now deep enough for the believer to swim in. At this stage, the believer is completely submerged. The believer is out of sight. The believer is buried in the water. At this particular stage then, it is the water that is supporting the believer. You are no longer using your own power to wade through the water. You are walking in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And this, my dear friends, is where God wants us to be. This is the goal that God has for all believers. This is water over your head. You are submerged in the Holy Spirit. You are swimming in the ocean of grace, forgetting your own abilities, your knowledge, your education. It, this is about total submission to the will of God and the flow, the, the leading of the Holy Spirit. This is about leaving your comfort zone and going with the flow of the Holy Spirit. It's a place of total surrender. It's a place of total submission. And hear me, believers. Hear me, beloved. Total submission, total surrender will bring you to a place of subsistence. At the deep end, things completely change. The barren place is turned into a river of filled with brimming with life. Everywhere the river flows, life, life is abundant. As you swim in the fullness of the Holy Spirit, your life begins to bear fruits. 
The fruits of the Holy Spirit are evident in your life and in everything you touch. Everything you touch assumes life. Spiritual success is evident. You see, dear friends, if you don't get to that fourth level, your faith will never really mature. If you don't get to that fourth level, you will not really see the glory of God. You, will, you can see signs and wonders at that third level. When you are already serving the purpose of the body of Christ, you can experience signs and wonders. But until you get to that level, you will not see the glory as Peter, James, and John saw on the mountain top when Jesus was completely transfigured. Spiritual maturity, total surrender is coming to the end of yourself, is dying to self, is being buried with Christ and living the life of the Spirit. So that like St. Paul in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, you can say, it is no longer I who lives, but Jesus Christ who lives in me. That is where God wants us to be. So remember, dear friends, ankle deep waters requires minimal effort. Minimal effort. And is made for shallow believers, kindergarten believers. Knee deep waters require a little bit more effort. But it is still based on your abilities, on your intelligence, your wisdom, your, your gift, your, your talents, and your your abilities. Waste deep water means you are in training for another level. You are in training for another level. You are being prepared for another level. But above the head level requires total surrender to the will of God. Sadly enough, too many Christians resolve themselves to just sit by the bank of the river and watch someone else do the swimming. Too many believers are just watching people take a swim, watching people wade in the water. In this text, God was telling the prophet Ezekiel about wading into the deep spiritual ends of his spirit-filled life. So I ask you, are you afraid to step into the deep waters because you think that God may require things of you that you are not willing to give up? Are you afraid to make that commitment? Ezekiel saw the vision of a river that springs forth from God's throne and is filled with life representing the power of the Holy Spirit. In this season of Lent, we need to ask ourselves, what point of the water am I in? Am I in the shallow end? Or am I at the knee level? What level of the water are you in? As we draw close gradually to the season of Lent, let the river of God, let the river of the Holy Spirit carry you wherever the Holy Spirit leads. Allow Jesus into your life. Step into the water. Get into the deep ends. The deeper you get, the better it is. The better spiritual experiences, the better insights, the better revelations you will find. Forget about whatever is in the water. Forget about the jellyfish, the the, the sea creatures and the sea monsters or the waves that may come. Jesus will let you walk in the deep water if you keep your eyes on him. In fact, just as Peter did, he will raise you up and he will cause you to walk on the waters. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all as we dare to go deeper with the Lord through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.